Okay, hear me out. I did say that I was waiting for Shuan Pin to be rated up to spend all my Shimmer records. My reasoning is going to make sense in a bit, so bear with me for a bit. So I have enough Shimmer records to go for the 50% pity, but I'm choosing to wait because uh, let me just remind you that in uh, May of 2023, we did get a Shuan Pin. That's when Shuan Pin uh, got released in May 2023. And then in September is our next Shimmer Net 5, which is Tolan. And then just two patches after Tolan was released. Next patch, we didn't get like any Shimmer Net 5. But after that, in October, literally the next two patch after Tolan was released, we got Anna. And we all know how broken Anna was and how uh, meta defining Tolan was also when he was released. Um, when Tolan was released, the speed meta was the best team that you can run because the tank team couldn't really do much without Mavis. So if you're running a, to a speed team without a Tolan, then you are at a massive disadvantage. Tolan kind of shifted the landscape. Not only do you need R2 Ethan to compete, but you also need a Tolan because he is the fastest unit to ever exist in this light, right? So with the speed meta, you need one of your units to be the fastest and Tolan does that. And if you put him on the light above set, then he also becomes an AP pusher for you, which is why he was needed in the speed meta. But then two patches after that, we got Ana, and we all know how broken Ana is. She makes the team by herself. Uh, the, you can run a combo with her, but you don't really need to. You can run a team that has 20% win rate, you slap her in, it now suddenly becomes a 70% win rate team. And yeah, we all know how broken a, sh a new Shimmer Net 5 can be. And this light is uh, pretty down bad right now, so they kind of want to release as many like pay to win aspects as much as possible. That's why you, you can see like Tolan being released and then two literally two patches after that, we got Anna and then now uh, we got Materia Research Lab. Now two patches after Anna, we don't get any Shimmer Net 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the news on the next patch whether they're releasing a new uh, Shimmer Night 5 and whether that new Shimmer Night 5 is broken or not because Shuen Pin is almost like six months old right right now right I'm not saying that she's bad she is still the best DPS support that you can get she's still going to be one of the best units that you can bring to get a high score on like Felsetto Fantasy Desert Lens she's still the best support that you can get but like I always said whether you need that unit or not you summon based on that or you summon based on fun, right? My account, I don't need a Shuen Pin. Falsetto Fantasy, I'm already getting the highest reward which is like top 100. In PvP is where I'm kind of struggling a bit. I can maintain top 1% but top 64, sometimes I don't get it and sometimes I can barely get it depending on the rule. And then in Desert Lands, I do have a Tether that can get me rank 1 in my group ranking and I can also consistently get rank 1 in my Retro Miracle as well without a Shuen Pin. Obviously, getting a Shuen Pin is going to be way better than me. I can get guaranteed rank on almost all of this. But like I said, I don't need a Shuen Pin. That's why I always do the Should You Summon video on the very last day. Because I want to see the Aspers that are going to be released on the next patch and compare them within the current patch. You know, which one is going to be better? Is it the, the current patch uh, lineup or is it the next patch lineup? I have 400 um, Wishstones right here and I'm contemplating on whether I should summon for R2 Genie or not. I'm still waiting for the next patch. I don't just instantly summon for an R2 Genie just because she's good. It's always best to wait for the next patch update to see which one is going to be better for your account. That's why I don't go for Mateo. I went for Liam instead. I have the Aspers, the right Aspers for Liam to be an exceptional support. Um, whereas in Mateo, I need him to be at like Divinity 3 plus max skilled up for him to really do much for my account. But that being said, Shuan Pin is a really fun Esper. She makes your DPS do big numbers and big numbers is always fun which is why I might just end up uh, summoning for her despite not needing her for my account because she's just fun and like I always said you should go for units that you find fun. Me getting a Shuan Pin, I do re really want a Shuan Pin but Shimmer Records are very scarce and the reason why I have this many Shimmer Records is because I Summon for units that is going to be good for my account. I don't need a bossing type character, which is why I didn't go for Mateo. But I went for Liam because Liam is going. I knew Liam was going to be a very good component for him, for my team. He's going to boost my score by a lot, and it's only going to cost me 100 wishstones, right? I'm still contemplating on summoning for R2 Genie because 
Artsujini is going to help me immensely in PvP but I will have to wait for the next update info. So yeah, that's my reasoning on not entirely skipping her just yet but mostly just waiting to see what the next patch is whether they're releasing a Shimmer Knight 5 and if they are releasing a new Shimmer Knight 5 then I'll see how broken they are compared to Xuan Pin because again, Xuan Pin is still a broken character. She's still the best support DPS that you can get in the game but we already know how Ana is in PvP and just how game changing she is for your account for PvP. So yeah, it's best to just wait for the next patch. If you don't need her immediately, then it's best to wait. But yeah, that's about it. Ciao.